Oh, okay. I think we did it. All right. Let me... <laughs> I oh. just saw your title. What do I call it? <laughs> That's just funny. It's been a while. Okay. Got it. I don't know if I'll use this thing, but... What is that? It's like how I can make the comments show up. Oh. Hi, everyone. They can hear us, right? I believe so. They should be able to. Yeah, it's showing that they can hear us. Oh, okay. Oops, I went to the wrong spot. Where is it? Oh, brother. <laughs> no. Yeah, bring the comments. Hello. Okay. Oh, no, you're driving in a rainstorm in Pennsylvania. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. What? <laughs> they can drive in a rainstorm. Good well, luck. I'm talking we to us. We, we hope that you're <laughs> safe, and uh, good luck on the roads out there. The mics are scratchy. Oh, are they? Audio's a bit fuzzy. No, oh, that's probably because of... Let's try to do... How's that? Is that better? Audio's distorted. Audio's fuzzy. Sound isn't good. Audio sounds blown out. Okay. I turned it down. Let's hear. Let's see if we fixed it. Hello. Kind of distorted. No change. No change. Uh oh. Too close to the mic? I move away from the mic when I breathe. Um, let's try this. How's that? Does that sound better? Or are we still blowing her out? Oh, jeez. Still a little distorted. So strange because there's not really anything different aside from where we're sitting. Oh no. Okay. How's that? I'm plugging it back yours in. Yours is the one sounding weird, not mine. Oh, it's just him. I think it's your gain. I can hear humming in the back. Oh yeah, I mean I turned everything down. My gain's way down, my level's way down. Is there something else? I don't know. Hello. Hello. Much better. When you turned your head, it was better. Okay. I think everybody's saying it's better now. Better? We're both good? Both good. Perfect now. Much okay. Much better. Still muffled, but quieter. Very bass heavy. I don't know which one's me. It's a good question. I think it's this one. Well, I mean, let's find out before you go messing it up. Well, no, I mean, it's totally fine. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I mean, I can change those things. <clears throat> I do also have a very deep voice. No, I know, but it never sounded like this. Okay, Mark. Mark's here. He said it sounds good now. Okay, good. I can barely hear Jackson. <laughs> Met Michael Buble today in Hollywood Studios. What? Ooh, what was he doing there? Oh, oh they goodness. said you're a little quiet. I can move a little bit closer to the microphone. Okay. All right. Now I'm all sweaty because of that. Uh oh. Okay, Sounds well, fine to me. Nick's gonna have to change everything. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm in Nick's spot. Audio is so fine this now. is where they do the podcast. They Nick and Tim have a podcast called That Tracks. That Tracks. And this is the podcasting. We didn't set up our normal like where we do the live shows, um, which is why we're a little bit late today. Sorry. We yeah. we planned on being live a lot sooner. So we do have to leave uh the live show at three fifteen. So we just have a little bit of time to hang out with you guys. But we wanted to answer um, some questions that you guys left in our last home vlog. Um, but first, Nicola, 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 I feel like I do this every time. But they asked, how are you feeling after your 10K? Which we did talk about this in a home vlog. But how are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I ran a mile and a half today, just kind of easing back in. So in our last home vlog, we talked about how we we're going to start working out. Like yeah. um, you were already working out, but I was going to start like our resolution. Yeah. We did it. We did it, everybody. I got on the bike. We have a... Uh, I forgot the, the camera was up there and I saw you go like this and like look up and I'm like, is there a ghost over there? <laughs> Who is she looking at? What is that? Um, but we did... Uh, I, so we have a bike. We have... It's not a Peloton. It's a Nordic, Nordic, track. A Nordic track, which I think is better than the peloton i agree because the peloton you have to like 
crank the knob yeah and this like, one knob. they do it for you yeah, so it's like I, automatic i do this like uh it's like a lady um who is doing like a class and i'm watching the replay of it and then she's like i'm gonna up your intensity and then my bike just starts like moving yeah like i don't have to do like anything transformer. she's like i'm gonna i'm gonna raise your incline and it just it, the bike goes up i don't have to do anything it's amazing oh dylan said universal vlog it is coming don't you worry oh. We're getting into the group. Get into the group, boy. You've got to. <laughs> that was one of the questions that was uh, we were going to answer today is, are you ever going to go back to Universal? And the answer is yes. Yes, we are. Yes, That we was are. one of my resolutions was to go to Universal more. Yeah. And I think now that Jackson's a little bit older, um, he will like it as well. Yeah. Like there wasn't a whole lot for him to do. And then they got rid of the kids area. And I'm like, oh, no, there's nothing for him to do now. He can ride E.T.? There, there wasn't much for him to do, I should say. There no. was like Carousel, E.T., the stuff in Seuss Landing. Right. Uh, uh, the ride, the, what is it, King and Krotos. Yeah. That was pretty much it. Yeah. Hogwarts, the train. Hogwarts Express. Yeah. Not much, but now I think we're going to go back. Um, Barb asked, did we, oh no, my gain needs to be reduced a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we we got to figure this out. Um, so... Oh, wait, I missed that. I was going to answer something and then I missed it. You were going to ask Barb. What did Barb say? What did Barb say? Ah, oh, shoot. She said, I forget anything about Barb from season one of Stranger Things. Oh, really? I mean, I know that she like had the pool thing going on, but like other yeah. than that, I don't really remember her. I remember her being like, we shouldn't be doing this. I remember her more from Riverdale, to be honest. Oh. Um, Jamie Lynn says, my son is seven and he's just able to ride more in Universal. I think that's what it is. That's what he just, there wasn't much for him to do. And so we just didn't go very much, but right. we will. We will. Oh, yes. Also, I think that, uh, it, like, yeah, Disney Crab says, can't wait for Epic Universe. I think Epic Universe will be, like, we'll be able to write a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, for sure. But that's not until next year. Is it this year? Or next year? Next year. Oh, okay. Right, right. Um, oh, Zach's here. Hi, Zach. I have to text you back. Sorry. I will text you. Um, we uh, have not taken uh, Jackson to see Fantasmic. I think because it's too late. It's past his bedtime. It's at nighttime, right? Yeah. So yeah. we... Um, yeah, I, and I don't know that we're like huge Fantasmic people. I hope that doesn't make anybody mad, but we've only ever seen it one time. Yeah. No, you saw it twice because you went when they redid it, like when they brought it back. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I did. I think so. Like after COVID? I thought you did. No. Oh, well, we only went the one time. Yeah. And it was cool. I liked it. I liked the um, the one at Disneyland too, but I think Did we that... see the one at Disneyland? Because in the podcast, yeah. I said we never watched it. We did. Oh. Yeah. Well, my memory. Because we went for like a Disney media trip and they gave us, um, it was raining, I think, but they gave us like a special spot to watch it. Oh. It was after we Is ate Is that at... why I know the pirate ship? The like the Peter Pan fight on the pirate ship? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, but that's also something that they did at Tokyo Disney. Oh, that's what was I was thinking of. during their electrical uh, parade. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, somebody said, what are your thoughts on Universal in the UK? Oh, yeah. So they bought a bunch of land out there and they're have, like... Have they confirmed that they're actually doing it? No, they. it's so strange what they did. They're like, we bought a bunch of land, but we're just kind of thinking about it. Like Maybe I we mean, might do it. You never know. It makes sense, though, that like you want to buy it when the land's low before like announcing yeah. it or even thinking about well, doing it. Well, because they can just sell it. Yeah. Like they can literally just be like, oh, you know, never mind. We're not going to do this. This isn't a great financial idea or whatever and just sell it. Yeah. And and I think that it was released for them. They weren't going to say like, hey, we bought this land. Right. <laughs> Somebody was like, hey, I saw that you bought this land. And they were like, oh, you caught us. You got me. <laughs> well, you got me there. You did. Yeah. It is like a live podcast. I agree. Uh, oh, no. People are saying that your sound is still bad. Oh, brother. Is it? Is it people that are just coming in and starting from the beginning? I don't know. I don't know how this works. I think because sometimes I see like people commenting on stuff that happened a long time ago. I don't think you can do that. I think when you tune in when we're live, it brings you right to where we are. But hmm. then I'm just not sure. The sound is fine. Tim sounds normal to me. The sound is fine. Okay, so maybe they are catching. Yeah, Sorry, like sorry to keep behind. talking about the sound. We um, just want to make sure we sound okay to you guys. Well, because normally Ooh. that was something that used to kind of set us apart in our live shows is that we had good sound. Right. But then. And then we, we get on. We're like. We didn't have one for a while. So we're 
we're we're well, like it's so strange because I, I feel like i didn't change maybe i did change the settings to like record the podcast because it probably sounds different when it's being recorded here oh maybe okay so um i wanted to answer some of your comments from the home vlog because i asked you guys to leave comments in the home vlog of stuff you wanted us to talk about so i want to just bring up a couple of things what real quick yeah uh uh, Harrison says we sound great, but we need more singing. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm singing. And um, I love you. And I love you. And I'm singing. And we so, haven't met, but you're my dad. <laughs> you're my dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So are we going to any place this year in 2024 that we haven't been before? And what are we most excited for uh, for the theme parks this year? Like new stuff. Okay. We don't have anywhere planned yet that we haven't been before, but we are doing something this year that we haven't done before, but it's at a place that we've been before. What What are we doing? I don't even know. Yeah, you do. It's, it, I'll, I'll tell you later. Oh. But it's not, it's, you know about it. It's not, it's not, you're going to be like, oh yeah, well, yeah. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So what are you most excited for, for the home blogs or for the, not for the home blogs, sorry, for the theme parks this year? Ooh, Tiana's Bio Adventure. Does it open this year? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited for that as well. We talked about it in the podcast. Nick's like, they're almost done with the outside. When do you think it's going to open? I was like, November. Wait, and he's like, what? Just because the outside, I think they want the outside to be done yeah, so they, they can, so the, the park will not look so like They can take down the walls too. Yeah. And then, then you're getting like, you're getting hype, you're getting ready for it, but they're still working on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, ooh, Megan asked if we're going to have any any water park vlogs and I would love to do water yeah. park week this year. Heck yeah. So we, for the past few years, um, we skipped it because of COVID. After COVID, the water parks were a little bit funny. Like they weren't open, like everything was a little bit, you know, it, it was just hard to do. Um, but now we could get back to water park week and we should. And we should. And we will. You know what I kind of want to do? What? You know that um, for, it's like $1,200 or something, not not excessive, but still like expensive, but not excessive. Mm -hmm. um, you can rent out Typhoon Lagoon before it opens. Oh, do some yeah. some surfing. So Tim went and he surfed at Typhoon Lagoon a few years ago. Yeah. And it looked so cool. It was fun. Only one of us could do it. And I was like, well, obviously you're going to do it because you know how to surf. Right. Like I'm not going to. But I, I wish that I had tried it, though. A lot of people, like Zach's asking me, somebody else asked me how my legs feel after the 10K. And they were totally fine. I feel like, Zach, I hope you get to do a run Disney race. because Does he want to? I, he said he wanted to. And he's Let's like, he's, he, but he's like a, he's running. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? He like, was like a baseball player and like ran. No, no. I'm saying like, well, yeah, that. But he's also, like no, but I'm saying like on, uh, he like posts his runs online and you're like, you're doing it. You're already running a 10K. Oh, he like runs like a 10K every day? Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> wow. Look at you, Zach. <laughs> I don't know about every day, but I did see that. Yeah, do it. Um, what? It was fun. Can you please make sure I'm watching live and give a thumbs up? Okay. Um. Oh, already? Oh, man, I thought this battery would last a little bit longer. Hold on one second. Oh, no. Where's the, the thing? The charger's right there, oh. but I was like, it'll probably last through the live show. Oh, no. Like, Low battery. <laughs> oh, no. What was that? Um, it was your something. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, that was. I hope that wasn't very loud for you guys. Um, Tabitha says cruise videos? Question mark. We definitely have some stuff coming up. Stay tuned. I'd like to hear Tabitha's secret. That's <laughs> what. <laughs> um, uh, ooh. Okay. Raquel says, "Is Disney Cruise or Alani better for a baby?" I have a baby the same age as Oliver, and we're planning vacations for the year. So. That's hard to answer. For me, I would say that the cruise is better solely because it's a 40 minute drive for us to the port rather than a like 10 hour flight to Alani. But Alani, once you get there, I think maybe better for the baby. Why is that? Well, because it's just it's it's laid back. It's less like go, go, go. OK. And it's more laid back. You have more time. You don't feel as guilty um, so right now the baby, Oliver, is taking two naps a day. 
And if I'm on a cruise and the baby's taking two naps a day, I feel like I'm missing more on a cruise. Okay. Like I'm not getting my money's worth. Because there's like a lot of activities. Because the baby is sleeping twice a day for an hour and then sometimes his second nap can be up to three hours. So basically I'm missing four hours out of the day and I'm missing those activities. I'm missing, I might be missing a meal. I might be missing a show. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. I might be missing something on an excursion. My time at Castaway Key is sort of cut short. Do you know? So I feel like once you get to Alani, it's a better, it's better for the baby. You're in charge of your time. Yeah, you can more. kind of, and it's, it's just, there's, it's more of a relaxing vacation than like a go, go, go. Although you can go on a cruise and make it a relaxing vacation. Right. But there's so much to do. You want to do those things. And the thing about a cruise is it's all inclusive, meaning like food and things like that are included. But like the baby's not eating chicken tenders and hot dogs no but they will make your baby food which is great yeah so for me living locally i would say the cruise is like easier to get to but then i would say once you get to alani like if you're closer let's say you're somewhere closer i guess would either be like california California, or Japan, japan if then maybe that would be better for you right that's a hard one to answer though Ooh, uh, Jules says, I always thought it would be cool to see you at Disneyland Paris. I would love... That's been on my list for years. Yes, I would love to also go there. Yeah. Oh, It's, Brit- it's a plan. Like, we do want to go there. Especially oh, with the new drone show. Yeah, I want to see everything. Oh, is that the baby? Yeah. <laughs> um, how's the Rivian going? Are you going to do more camping trips? Uh, I mean, the Rivian's going really good. The camping trip, I don't, I wouldn't mind. Jackson, as soon as I got home, he's like, I want to go camping with you in the car. I know. I, I feel like we should go camping in the backyard first. Just I mean, to like, like. In the car, we can. But just, like, if he's like, I don't like this, we just drive home. I know, but I think it might be easier just to start out in the backyard. Just to like dip your toes in. Okay. Like we're going to stay in a small space. Yeah. You know, not a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a little fire outside. Yeah. Got to get a little fire pit. Do you guys, does anybody out there have one of those smokeless fire pits? Are they like worth it? As I know, they're very expensive compared to like a normal fire pit. Can you still like make s'mores on them and stuff? Why wouldn't you be able to? I don't know. They're smokeless. Like what makes them smokeless? They just Uh, burn hotter? I don't know. Why doesn't Florida have drones? That is a great question. We did. We did at Disney Springs. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Was it a holiday show? It was. It was Christmas and it was in, it was right before the pandemic, I think. Yeah. But like, why haven't we done it again? That's what I said. That's what I mean. I don't know. Hmm. I use my TV for a smokeless fire pit. Can't make s'mores on that one. (laughs) Oh yeah. Um, There's a big storm up in the panhandle. So everybody be careful up there. Oh geez. We're not getting a lot here. We're just getting uh, like wind. Oh. Zor Party of Four says build your own smoke list. There's a YouTube tutorial on it. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Shelly has a good point. Shelly Clark says because there are issues with the flight patterns, like for the drones. Yeah. That makes sense that we wouldn't have a huge drone show so close to. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. So. TV s'more is delicious. <laughs> another, um, another question. Let's see. Oh, there's still a tornado watch for Orange County. Oh, okay. So this kind of goes into what we were just... Oh, Journey with J-Love. You're in here right now. So I'm going to answer your question from the video. But they were saying, um, maybe talk about what there is to do with a baby on the cruise. Because we did take okay. Oliver on our last cruise, but there wasn't a lot of footage of him. And that's purely because um, he, was he, sleeping. he was sleeping so much. He was taking three naps a day. There's stuff to do with the baby, but he was, um, thankfully we were lucky enough to have Rosie with us. So she was with the baby. Um, he was able to get his sleep. We were able to go out and do things and film vlogs and, and work and stuff. So he was like sightseeing on the deck. Yeah. He was on the veranda looking at the water. I will tell you this. (laughs) Um, if you're interested to find out what there is to do for a baby on a cruise. Yeah. Stay tuned. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so we're going to have a video about that coming up soon. But I think the reason why we didn't film so much of it on that cruise was because he just wasn't doing much in general, except for like sleeping and eating. Um, So, yeah. (laughs) But they. Oh, go go ahead. ahead. No. 
Go ahead. Somebody said D23 this year. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was, as long as we can get tickets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steven says six to eight inches of snow in, I forget, I couldn't see where you were at. Um, but like, I know that pe- you guys probably don't love that, but like, I'm so excited for snow. Like, I'm so happy that you guys have snow. Why? Because I like seeing pictures of it. Oh, okay. So you don't <laughs> want to touch it or like be there when it's cold. No, I do. I want to. We were okay. talking about taking Jackson to somewhere where it snows. Um, yeah. But we just, it hadn't snowed yet. It just kind of started snowing. So, oh, Journey with J-Love says, I will in fact stay tuned. Oh. Cool. We'll see you there. Excellent. <laughs> um, um, Chris Steele says. Huge snowstorm in Wisconsin. What? Huge snowstorm in Wisconsin. Oh, geez. I hope you guys are Okay. When does Mardi Gras start in Universal? In February. Yeah, it's like... Oh, no. Hi, Amanda's in here. Hi, Amanda. She's been like... Tri- she's I'm like, here. She's like, snow is awful. Um, I'm going to have to disagree, but I also haven't really been there in real life. I, I love the pictures. <laughs> um, Let's see. Oh, also, I'm going to text you. February 3rd. Coming up pretty soon, actually. What? February 3rd. For Mardi Gras at Universal. Yeah, I thought it was in February. Or like yeah. early February. Okay. Oh, no. Destiny said, I just got a foot of snow Sunday in Boston and it's terrible. Oh, man. <laughs> no, I love it. Well, it doesn't sound fun in a city. Like oh, if you're like trying to get around. Yeah. Like I just, if you're I trying wanna... to go to Starbucks or <laughs> trying to go to Tim's. Does you guys have Tim's in Boston? I don't know. I think for me, I want to um, sled and like, you know, go on those little like those little like half circle things where you sit in it and you go down a hill a saucer i want to do that yeah i know you probably don't do that like in the city of boston that's probably not like a thing you would do right but i that's what i want to do you want to go oh okay Brittany says snow is hard when you're an essential worker i think i'm just thinking from like a um a tourist or standpoint you know like right when yeah festival of the arts video coming this week it is rachel that video is coming this week yes um okay so another question we have here is baby led weaning has oliver started baby led weaning yet not yet no he did he did yeah remember we did the avocado oh yeah we're not doing it like every single day but we are starting it with him right and i don't know why with him i think because his first tooth just started to come in and i think jackson's teeth came in a little bit sooner <clears throat> and so i'm like nervous to give him i'm just nervous for the choking you know what i mean and i know that when you do baby led weaning they are going to choke a little bit that's just part of it because like jackson did the same thing but i think that i don't love that and so i'm dragging my feet a little bit with it did you see that tom hiddleston is supposed to be at a convention at disney world february 3rd and 4th are you sure are you talking about megacon when is megacon um i don't know february 1st through 4th yeah so not at disney but just at megacon the convention center okay oh huh. um okay so angie g asks do you plan to get another dog or will you wait for the boys to be a little bit older if we get one it'll be when they're older I think we want to wait until uh, the baby is like three, four years old. Yeah. So I think we will wait if we get, yeah, if we get a dog, we'll wait. But I think I've said this before. I just don't know that a dog, we will find a dog that will be, Bandit was just so special. I just don't know if we'll, I don't want to cry, um, but I just don't know if we'll find a dog that was as special as Bandit was. And right. so I, I don't know, you know? Oh, Dragon Con. So that's something that um, Adam, Adam, yeah, Adam always goes to. It sounds very fun. Oh, Amanda says, wait, you have you ever been to the snow place in Dade City where you can sled? There's one here. It's called Big Cat Mountain. The one here? Yeah. Yeah. Or the one in Dade City. I don't know where it's at. It's in Central Florida. Yeah, we have one here that's um, we've always wanted to check out. I just don't understand how it works. Like it's snow in Florida. It's like 70 degrees outside right now. It's an indoor thing. No, I think it's outdoors. Are you sure? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, um, Does Disney World do Sweethearts Night? No, Disney hasn't. Disney World hasn't done themed after hours parties like Disneyland does. But I kind of want them to. Right? Right what? 
Which I wish they did themed after hours parties. They're just like, it's an after hours party. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have fun. Yeah. But like out in California, they're like, we got Sweethearts Night. We've got 90s Night. They do got so Disney many fun. Channel yeah. Um, okay. So Bree Miller asked, um, is it possible if we could talk about some of the safest suburbs of Orlando to live in? They're planning on moving next year and they want to pick a safe place. So this is a hard question because it's... Um, I don't I don't know every city in Orlando and I I only know like maybe we've just driven through some of them maybe yeah, we I don't know if it's safe. Yeah, I don't know 100%. I will tell you some cities that I do like. Mm-hmm. I I think that Winter Garden is a good place to look, especially if you want to be near the parks, like near-ish the parks. Um a lot of people are moving to Davenport. That's like a been a big a big uh like rush of Yeah. people have been moving there. Um, Claremont is another one that people have been talking about like it's kind of like booming a little bit up and coming yeah I think celebration's nice too I just don't know um, how easy it is to get in celebration right you know like is it pretty full I don't know you know like I think their prices are pretty high there because it's like so desirable right so depending on your budget um, I would also say like Winter Park is beautiful yeah and it's not super close to the parks but not super far away from the parks um like i feel like there are probably safe pockets in a lot of these places too like mm-hmm. dr phillips could be nice oh yeah i just don't know Islesworth could, could be really nice and that's where like all the basketball players live it's definitely nice um jeremy says winter park altamont springs east side of oviedo uh emily said winter garden is so charming i agree i love winter garden um oh jamie lee said not claremont we're full <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, Amanda said Davenport is annoying, annoyingly full of traffic, but it's not oh, bad. Yeah, that's what I Kayla that's, says too. I live in Davenport and it's so busy. The traffic is just kind of crazy everywhere. Um, ooh, okay, really fast. Kim Kimmy127 said, Come frolic in the Colorado mountains for all of the snow activities you can imagine. We have some friends who they went on a family vacation to Winter Park, Colorado. And um, I'm going to, I want to talk to them and see how their uh, like trip went. Because they went specifically to go do like the snow activities. And I want to do that. Right. I want to see how it went. Do any of you guys, um, have any of you guys been to Winter Park, Colorado? Let me know. Um, Mount Dora. Oh, Wakiva Springs is a great place to look. Yeah. Windermere. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um, Tom Jackson, Jun- Tom Jr. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. You're, it went by so fast. You asked if we're going to be doing any more themed house tours and we are, we have a couple more that I need to edit, um, that I can't wait for you guys to see. Jabrani, Dollywood this year. I'd like to go back to Dollywood. Yes, I would nice. too. I would too. I want to stay in, um, the new hotel and I want to eat cinnamon loaf bread, cinnamon bread. Yes. And I want to ride rides. Yeah. And I want to go to the kids area because when we went, they were just like building the kids area. Oh, yeah. So I want to see all of it. I think Jackson would like that little roller coaster in there, too. I think he would like the whole thing. Yes. Ooh. I'm Colton, 12 years old. Gideon's or Summer House Restaurant for cookies? Mm. They're so different. They are different. I think if you're looking for variety, I would go to Summer House um, because they have more of a variety of cookies to choose from. Right. But... The cookies at Gideon's are very good, and their their cold brew is so good. So maybe Gideon's. I don't know that a twelve year old wants to go in there and drink some cold brew. Oh, were they twelve? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Maybe they do. I don't know them. Maybe it's they love true. coffee. Well, you go to Area Fifteen in Orlando. Oh, yeah, it's it's still just a a plot of dirt right now. <laughs> but yes, as soon as anything starts happening. Um. Also, um, Andreen says, are there smaller themed houses? They all seem so huge. So it's so funny because we were just talking about this today, but I think that they are larger houses because of the in- the intense theming. It kind of like larger spaces sort of lend itself better to those kinds of themed rooms. Right. Because some of the rooms are actually two rooms. Right. That they've converted like two rooms into one big themed room. So th- I think that's why the houses are those big houses. And the company that we work with specifically does the bigger houses. Yeah. It's just like better for multiple families, large families, things like that. So um, we just found out something interesting about that community, about reunion. There are no mailboxes. Yeah. You can't get mail because they're not houses that you live in. Yeah. They're it's specifically like, built to be rentals. 
which people ask that all the times in the video all the time in the videos and we never had an answer because we didn't know but yeah. we found out that yeah, yeah it's like a rental community it's pretty neat are you going to get your own switch love seeing jackson get into video games i think that we are going to um so ba our friends lent lent us their switch to see like how jackson liked it we didn't want to make like a huge purchase if he didn't really like it right and so they lent us their switch and he loves it and they said that they would sell us their switch so i think we will probably buy that one and that'll be his he it'll be so, all of ours really yeah so i was playing mario with him yeah. yesterday and like it was one of the most excited times I've ever seen him. He was so excited. Because he could still play and it wasn't frustrating for him because we were moving forward because I was playing with him as well. Mm -hmm. And like he knew that if like I couldn't get through a level, it was okay that he couldn't get through the level too. Yeah. Because like the level was hard. Yeah, yeah. So he was like jumping on the couch with the controller and he was like, yee! <laughs> he was so Like excited. so excited for the level to start and he's like, we're doing it. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. He really, really loved it. Yeah. What is your what is his favorite game so far? He really likes the Mario game, which is called Mario U Deluxe. It's like the newest Mario game. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. But we also, when we're at Target, we looked at some games, and I saw that there's a Disney game, like a, a Mickey game, mm -hmm. and I want to get that. And oh, then there's a Hot Mark, Wheels game. Mark said, "Was that Mario Odyssey?" No. I don't I don't have there's so many Mario games and then uh, Parker St. Clair said there's a bluey game on switch We definitely are gonna be purchasing that one because I guess the point of the bluey game is to like teach them how to play the switch Yeah, so it's I think it's perfect for him. Yeah, and then uh, The other thing that he He's been playing Mario 64 which we have on like it was one of the games Mario Brothers U deluxe very uncomplicated name <laughs> Disney Illusion Island Yeah I want to get that What's that one? That's the one that I was looking at It's like the newest Mickey game Oh okay Um, You go into a Oh going to Alani next year Any tips for first timers? Oh I look would at the, Look at the character schedule Yes be sure that you check Because that's like the only way That you'll find out Where you can meet everybody And they update it in the morning mm -hmm. So it's not like you can Plan the day ahead as soon as you wake up, you got to check it. If you like coffee, try the Alani special at the little coffee shack by the pool. Um, I would make sure that you go to the secret beach next to Alani. Yeah, because every beach is a public beach mm -hmm. on Hawaii. So you like you could go to the beach, like walk down the beaches, walk down the coves to go to a different beach if you wanted to. Yeah, I would, if you are looking for like a tour, if you want to do like a tour of the island, um, our, the tour company that we worked with was the High Five Tours. They, they're awesome. They'll take you kind of like everywhere. They'll take you to places, whatever your interest is. Like if you want to see movie locations, they can do that for you. If you want to see like a foodie tour of the island, they can do that for you. Um, but the, we did some of the coolest stuff with them. Like we went to a really neat little coffee farm with them. We did the, um, the Waimea Falls and we yeah. like swam in a waterfall. That was so cool. And Jackson did it with us too, which was like amazing. Um, but I recommend checking them out. I recommend, I don't know if I would recommend the luau at Alani as much well, as they have authentic luau's. I think I would do that. Yeah. I wish that if you were going there for the holidays, cause they just, they did like a new holiday luau oh, did last they? year. Well, and sometimes you can get a room that like overlooks the luau space and then you can just like see the luau every night from your right. room <laughs> for free. Oh, somebody said, read the reviews on the bluey game because it's very titchy or glitchy. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. We went to Anna Maria for the first time in October and we loved it. Are you going again soon? Um, yeah, we go every year. So we will for sure be back this year. We love it too. It's just so beautiful and like relaxing and I just, I love it there. I love it. Um, Paradise Cove is a great luau. So that's the, the secret beach is right behind Paradise Cove. Right. Um... Chris Seal says, have you seen Adam's new golf cart yet? So we haven't seen it. We saw the video and we've talked to him about it, but we haven't seen it. But we're very excited for him. Oh, Tim is so behind on his Nintendo stuff. He's unintentionally telling falsehoods. What? Mario Deluxe U is not the latest release. Mario Wonder is. Oh. Oh, sorry. 
Odyssey came out after you, but before Wonder. Oh, no. Tammy said, I had a stroke in... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Had a stroke in March. Can't type nor walk right side left paralyzed learning enjoy watching your family thank you so much um i'm so sorry to hear that i hope that you are able to like recover and um thank you for coming to the live show yeah your typing is great you did good yeah uh come to Canada we have snow so I was looking at our friend Chris Pratt he lives in Canada and he was posting on I think it was Instagram but he they didn't have snow where they were oh and I was so surprised and he said it was surprising that is surprising yeah so because we were thinking we're like oh maybe we'll take him up to Canada to show him snow but then there wasn't snow there oh no Lauren said, I made it just starting. I thought I missed it since the video said it was before three. So we did start the live show before three, but we do have to end the live show um, in like 15, 15 minutes. minutes. So yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry oh, about that. Well. We had a lot going on today. Today was kind of like a just like packed full of stuff. So. Yes. What is your wife's Mr. Tim Tracker? My My name? Is that what you're asking? Maybe. This is Jen. I'm Jen. <laughs> nice to meet you, Donna. Hello. <laughs> Arkansas has snow. What? So it's so funny. Like, where is the snow? My fajitas. My fa- <laughs> Yeah, see, Emily said we didn't get snow in Wisconsin until now. Usually starts in October, November. So, and I think that like this is going to be just how it is from now on so strange um ryan asked if we ever do meetups in the park and we don't because we did do a meetup in the park and disney didn't like that no they were like hey don't do that and we were like okay (laughs) (laughs) so we don't yeah we don't do that susan said you're friends with chris pratt oh no um anna said did you give adam his sticker and his postcard we didn't give it to him yet we haven't seen him we'll have to bring it because i bet he'll be at a festival of the arts on friday we'll bring it on friday Uh, thank you for reminding me but it, his name it's is not, Chris Pratt. Yeah, it's not, but the, it's not the Chris Pratt. He kind of is the Chris Pratt, though, because he's older than Chris Pratt. Yeah. So he's like the first Chris Pratt. Yeah. Um, if not pizza eggs, what's your favorite way to cook eggs? Scrambled with cheese. Yeah, I think me too. Um. Oh, okay. So Reynolds said, where is the long-awaited social... Rivian video um so the video is going to come up I wanted to I think what it was is we wanted to do like a very well-rounded review of the Rivian and so we wanted to a have it for a little bit of time so we could like really really review it and then we wanted to uh, you wanted to camp in it which Mm -hmm. you did we wanted to have a service call which we did yeah um and so now I feel like we've it's it'll we can kind of talk to you about everything yeah the only thing that left to do that I would don't probably will not do before the video comes out is i'd like to tow something with it Mm. what would we tow i don't know let's buy a boat (laughs) (laughs) Um, i'm not really gonna do that oh are you ready for marvel echo yes i still am in the middle of uh what if season two but i would like to watch echo as well it's it's like has adult warnings on it. it's like one of the most violent marvel movies or marvel shows ever really yeah oh i didn't know that yeah can you review the Model Y too? I mean, I feel like we could. Yeah. Have we did? I don't think we ever really did that. I don't think so either. Um. Yay, a boat! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're really getting. We're not going to buy a boat. I don't think so. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Okay. Here's a Thoughts question on the Mando movie announcement. What? what? Was that a real thing, though? Is that real? Oh, I mean, Armand, Armanda. I love that. Armanda. Um, they said, rent a U-Haul to tow. Rent oh. a U-Haul to tow. I'll tow the, tow the Tesla. Yeah. Rent a U-Haul trailer and put the Tesla on it. Just drive it around town. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Jesse Green, 331, said, I would love to hear what books you've read recently uh, or want to read for this year. So, the only book that I really read this year was I finished the Britney Spears book. Oh, yeah. That was it. Did you not this year or last year? I finished it this year. I didn't finish it on my stay. Oh. Yeah. 
thing. It's just it was so hard to get through. I I think I was disappointed in her book because she skimmed over so much stuff. The juicy stuff. Yeah, it wasn't even the juicy stuff. It was just she was just kind of like, uh, and I'm, I dated Justin Timberlake. And I'm like, that's all you're going to say? Like, that's the whole thing you're going to talk about? Right. And then she talked a little bit about her stuff with Wade Robson, but it was like a sentence. And then she really didn't talk about she didn't she didn't like it wasn't she wasn't super what's the word she was vulnerable in the book but she wasn't it wasn't like a tell-all and i didn't want it to be like some kind of like juicy gossip book i just wanted to like hear more from her right do you know what i mean okay it could have been a longer book with like more information more in-depth stories and so that i was kind of what britney says they couldn't put it down they read the whole thing in one night I mean, it was interesting, but it was just not, she didn't tell me much that I didn't already know, except for there was stuff like with the conservatorship, obviously that I was, that I didn't know. And, but I just wish she had talked more about it. I don't know. I'm happy for her though. I'm very happy that she's out of the conservatorship. I'm happy that she is able to do all the stuff she wants to do. Like, I understand why she does her dancing videos on, on Instagram. Like I, I get it and I'm happy for her. I just wish that the book was more. I just wish she said more. I don't know. That's all. Like, say more. Tell me more. Um, I do need to also finish my book about the final girls um, final support group. group. Support group. Yeah, I want to finish that book. I started that like two years ago. Never finished it. Um, and then there are a few more books, like celebrity books that I want to read. That's it, really. You read Jeanette McCurdy's book and you liked it, right? I did because she told you like the whole story. Right. Yeah. Like her book was... She was like funny. It was very sad. Um, but it, there was just like she she really opened her heart to you and like told you her life story. You felt a connection with her. I felt. Yeah. I mean, the same thing with Britney. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I love Britney. Like, I love Britney Spears. But I just wish that she could have been more open. Maybe she wasn't ready to write the book. I feel like that's probably a big part of it, too. Right. Is like she just wasn't really that she wasn't ready. And she was kind of forced into it, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Brittany said they also read that book in one night. <laughs> yeah, that was an easy I think Brittany might just be a reader. Yeah. She's like, I read everything in one night. <laughs> that was like a really good one. Um, how long did Tim run in the 10K? What do you mean? Like, how, how long did it take you to run it? Oh, like an hour and 23. That's pretty good, right? I think so. Yeah. I don't think you it's sh- bad. Hmm. Oh, Mark said, did you hear about the nine, the nine month around the world cruise? And I did. Is it a Disney cruise? No, it's like, I think it's a Royal Caribbean cruise. Won't go on it. Well, no, I wouldn't go on it anyway. It's a nine month cruise. Yeah. But I was reading how um, somebody said that they're already running out of wine. <laughs> Oh, and they're having trouble like getting more wine at the ports and stuff, I guess. That's pretty funny. Yeah. And I was like, well, that sounds. Oh, it's like happening right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're like, I think a month in or something like four weeks in. There's it a sounds uh... awful, though. I would never do that. Well, I heard stories about people that are retired that just like moved on to a cruise ship, like booked out a year on the cruise ship because it's cheaper than. Yeah, it's cheaper than like buying a house or like getting into like assisted living or yeah. whatever. Yeah, because all your food's provided and everything. The only thing about that is some people did that before the pandemic. And then where could they like that's scary. What if something like that happens again? Oh, and then you're like, they're like, all right, get off the ship now. Yeah, they, that's what they did to these people. They're like, you can't stay on the ship. You have to get off like we're you got to go. And they were like, we sold our house. We don't have anywhere to go. Right. So. I don't That's know. the gamble, baby. Yeah, it's like, ooh, I wouldn't want that to happen. Gotta buy a van. Oh, it's the Serenade. It's a small ship. I was on it for eight days, and that was enough. It's the one that sa- sails out of Tampa. Oh, wow. They're in South America. Drake's Passage is coming up. And that's the one that's, like, very rough, right? Oh, I believe I've heard that it's rough, yes. Yeah. Um, Kayla Madden says Prince Harry's book is amazing. You should totally read it. So I follow this girl. Her name is Uncarly on YouTube and she read the book. She did one of those things. It's like, I read this book so you don't have to type thing. Okay. So I feel like I read the book because I watched her video on it and, um, it's, it was interesting. I don't think I'll read it, but it was interesting. Okay. Sounds scary. Living in the, living on the ocean. I think I could do it. Ooh, what percentage of your closet is Disney clothes? A lot. Yeah, it's a lot. 
We're both wearing Disney shirts right now. I need to go <laughs> through my closet and like empty it out. Oh. Because I keep getting new shirts. I know. We really need to. That's one of the things um, that we, like one of my goals for each month of the year, not each month, but like some months of the years, I want to pick a room and like completely like donate all the stuff we don't need and then organize the room. Okay. So that's, I told you that. Yeah. 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 Oh, I was yeah, just yeah. like agreeing with you right now. So that's one of the rooms is going to be our closet will just be its own room because I think it's going to take us a while to be able to like part with things. Ooh, uh, Tweeter Bug Kayla says, explain your Spotify wrapped top songs. Oh, was this Jack's or Oliver's falling asleep playlist? That's <laughs> yeah. just a playlist we use to get Oliver to fall asleep. It's like classical music. Yeah. And so that's what it was. <laughs> closet tour. We did one. So before we got our closet done, we did like a, um, you know, like California closets. It was like that kind of a thing. But we went to the container store and they did it. And um, we did like a closet tour of our closet before we got it done. And it was all, it was like a hundred million t-shirts. Yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> Ooh, if you could go to Disney with any celebrity, who would it be? Oh, you know what? I feel like. Uh, any celebrity. Any celebrity. Um, Ryan Gosling. Yeah. I think he likes he likes Disney, right? Yeah, yeah. We saw them at well, I didn't. You said you saw him at Disney. Yeah, he went with like Guillermo del Toro instead of going to the Oscars or something. They like went and rode Radiator Springs <laughs> together. I'd like to go to with Billy Corgan. I think he'd be fun. It'd be interesting to talk to. Mm, okay, but you see, that's the thing about these questions is when people are like, "What celebrity would you like to like have dinner with?" And I'm like, "I don't know them." Like, what if, what if we're not actually friends and well, then like, like we're stuck at Disney together? Well, so there, okay. It, it reminds me of this story about Robert Pattinson. So the guy yeah. from Twilight, how he, there was this per, this girl, I guess, came to the, the set of one of his movies every day, went to the set of his movies every day. It was like stalking him basically. And then finally he's like, let's go out to dinner. Yeah. Like finally he's like, if I go out to dinner with you, never come back here. Like, like let's go out to dinner. He took her out to dinner and she, and he just complained the whole time. And then she like never, he never she saw just her like again. Disappeared. Yeah. So you could just, <laughs> could be like that. Ryan Seacrest. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> it was supposed to be Ryan Seacrest. That's too funny. Tim loves Ryan. I did kind of like fall in love with, with Ryan Gosling a little bit more after watching the Barbie movie. Oh yeah. I was like, look at, Look at this man. <laughs> I love the movie. I, I really kept did. looking at his abs and I was like, man. Oh, yeah. He's like ripped, but yeah. not like so ripped. Like It was amazing how he was so ripped that he looked plastic. Yeah, he did. He was so shiny. Yeah. And yeah. I think that was like part of the movie. But yeah. like still, he was like on like one of those things that you take when you're a bodybuilder, to like thin out your skin. Oh, you like think he was on nitrogen that? or something or nit nitrates. Okay. He's eating a lot of hot dogs. Sorry. Is that... <laughs> he's eating a lot of hot dogs yeah you know how they're Makes always me like want a hot dog like, real bad a lot of a lot of nitrates <laughs> oh that was a pretty good impersonation was it yeah oh Yo, thanks you sounded just like her <laughs> um oh but you don't want to know what your favorite celebrity gets as their super salad appetizer Ooh. Uh, um at olive garden are we going to olive garden maybe oh man uh i he, what what about um who's the guy from from uh from juno That's oh the, the only one movie that i can think of that he the was in. um the one who was alan michael, yeah michael sarah michael Cera. i think he'd be interesting because he's like weird right i heard he's like not very nice in real life though so i don't well, know maybe to like people that he doesn't know but if we're going to disney together we obviously know each other what right <laughs> i don't think so i know that it's <laughs> just like i won like an internet thing yeah okay um Oh yeah, the new White Lotus cast. I'm so excited. I've I've loved every Ooh. season of White Lotus, so I'm very Who's in the new season? Um, like Parker Posey oh. and oh, I can't I can't remember anybody else right now, but I'm very excited for the new season. It makes it whenever you say Black Lotus, it reminds White, White Lotus, it reminds me of Glass Onion, like those movies. Uh like I know that they're not the same, but like no. whenever you say it, I yeah. think of that. Okay. I could see that. And so when you said that, I was kind of like excited for a new Knives Out. And I was like, oh, maybe there's going to be a new one coming. <laughs> I never know. Ooh, best app drink place at Disney Springs. I think I would say Wine Bar yeah, George. Wine Bar George. But maybe Summer House on the Lake now. Yeah. Hmm. 
You should take the boys to the JW Marriott on Marco Island. Okay. Maybe we'll check that out. Okay. Oh, uh, Shaq Guyver says maybe they want a day with you, Tim. Oh. Got to look at it from all angles, you know? You think Ryan Gosling <laughs> is entering to win a, a day in the parks with me? Uh, maybe. Does anybody know Ryan Gosling? I, I doubt it. <laughs> you never know. I somehow doubt it. Tell him I said hi. Um, Just to see. I'm trying to see if I can find more of the questions from the home vlog. And what I might do is on our next live show, we'll answer more of those. Because I think we have to get going like now. Tom Jr. Jackson says, Parker Posey will not talk about making Superman Returns because she has PTSD from it. Oh, really? What happened in Superman Returns? Is that the one with uh, with Henry Cavill? Is that his name? Uh, yes. The guy from name. The Witcher? Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I don't okay. know which one that is. Oh, Kelsey's husband met Ryan Seacrest. Oh, did he apply for like American Idol? How did he meet him? Yeah. Real quick, who is the biggest celebrity that you met and were they nice? To We've... the comment section. Oh. Like a... I want to know. Were they nice? I always love reading nice? those. Um, uh, I always love reading those on the internet. They'll have like uh, like celebrity horror stories or like celebrities who don't tip good. Oh, you yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh, who was it? <laughs> Chris Helmsworth was nice. Ariana Grande was nice. Ooh. Oh, somebody oh. went to school with Anna Ch Chumsley. Clum what is it? The one from, uh, what is she from? I don't know. Oh, Tom Felton was extremely nice. Channing is Tatum. The, is that the guy from Harry Potter? John, Han John, John Hamm yelled at me. me. I, I heard he's not very nice. But oh I man, he just seems so nice though. Steve Aoki was nice. I bet you Steve. Oh, Ringo Starr. My goodness. Oh. Tim Tracker was the nicest. Oh, <laughs> very nice. Uh, oh. Bruce Willis. Oh man, I feel bad for Bruce Willis. Yeah. Oh. Serve Prince William lunch. Oh. Wow. That's interesting. Ben Kingsley was very nice. Oh, Jessica said that Taylor Swift was nice and tall. Yeah, she's like my height. Yeah, she's so tall. Yeah. Uh, met Weird Al. I bet you Weird Al would be very oh, man. nice. He, he, put probably... up a, he put up a video of him with his Grammy at In-N-Out. Oh, did he? He was wearing like a tux and eating fries at In-N-Out <laughs> with his Grammy. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Ed Sheeran came to my house. Really? Why? For what? Ross Lynch was nice but awkward. Oh, I was awkward. Oh, Miley I would, Cyrus I would was be nice. too, I think. The Rock was nice. Wow. I'm John glad, Belushi. I'm glad. Oh, not so nice. Oh, no. Well, he had his demons. I think he was probably dealing with something. Yeah. Ashley Eckstein was nice. She is nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, Amanda met Jimmy Fallon. Not a fan. Oh. I've heard that he's not, not super nice sometimes. Amy Lee from Evan Evanescence was nice. Oh, okay. Oh, Alec Baldwin, not nice. <gasps> Really? Keanu Reeves was a dream. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, me too. I met Tim Tracker a few times. Really nice guy. Oh, <laughs> really nice guy. Rufus, Rufus Wainwright was awesome. I'm very happy to hear that like a lot of these people are nice. That makes me happy. Yeah. I met or Weird Al at the Orlando Eye. That's cool. Wow. Oh, my band supported Fall Out Boy years ago. Super nice guys. Hmm. Wow. Did you ever like chime in? D what is that is that panic at the disco yeah. ah, what does fall out boy sing <laughs> they sing um you know like the the uma thurman one. Oh, and the other ones the i cannot think of a single Fall Out boy song name right a now. woman I have, I have their cds I, I know their stuff but i can't think of it i'd like to meet mark ruffalo oh he me seems too. yeah me too. interesting oh man but we do have to go though i feel bad okay. like leaving on such an interesting note right sold colin for the tv hmm. you did look at that that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay. Sorry. I could read these all day. I know. I My love this. My mom met Steve Irwin. Really? Oh, man. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Oh, yeah. Duh. Ugh, why didn't I know that? Uh. <laughs> I should have known that. Um, dang. Okay. We do have to go because um, we. it's time. We got some stuff we got to do. Wait. Oh, Saved J Davy Jones's horse and he was so nice. Offered me to give me riding lessons. Well, what? Mark said that um, speaking of name a woman... I worked with Billy Eichner and he was not pleasant. Oh, no. That makes me so sad. I love him. Right. You know what, though? Honestly, I, um, I, I still love him. Even if he's mean, I love him. Okay. Yeah. But I, I'm sad to hear that. Oh, Tim Tracker's a nice guy and gave him a friendship bracelet. 
And I still have that friendship bracelet. <laughs> I still have all of my friendship bracelets. We do. Jackson wears them sometimes. It's cute. Uh, Shaq. I think Shaq's nice. I think I feel like I've met Shaq before, but not like talked to him. I, like, I feel like, like hey, Shaq. We've seen him. Yeah, yeah. like f- far away. But okay. All right. Let's. Go. I know we got to go. I want to talk more about this though. Dang. Okay. So. Um, Billy Eichner seems like a certain personality. Okay. I just like. I just like love him so much though. He's just so funny. Yeah. But I could see the, how he could not be nice. Who is that guy that had that show on like HDTV where he was like redoing houses? Oh, Jeff Lewis. Yeah. He seems like if you know him and like know yeah. his personality, you could be like, oh, he's nice. But like if you're. But he's like not nice. Dealing with him. Yeah. He's yeah. not a nice guy. Yeah. I could see it too. Okay. Elijah Wood. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go. I would love to meet Elijah Wood. I hear he's like one of the nicest people in the whole world. Yeah. Oh my That's gosh. who I'd go to Disney with is Elijah Wood. I think that'd be so fun. Yeah. Can I, I could come? like carry him in my pocket. Can I? I don't think he's that little. <laughs> <laughs> he's, Can is, I he not a, is he not a hobbit? I don't think so. Can I oh, go with you? Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we will see you guys soon with another live show. But as for today's live show, we're all done. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And um, we'll see you tomorrow with a new video. All right. I've been going strong, right? Like, yeah, you're doing. This is great. our video for the day, by the way. This we're not. I'm gonna have an edited video. It'll just be this. But I feel like I'm. I'm feeling really good about my my resolution. Yeah. Yeah. So. Barbara Streisand wasn't nice. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. All right. We love you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> Let me figure out how to end this. Here we go. All right. There it is. This is. It's been a long time. Bye. <laughs>